How do you do? It's Lukey Poo at Coon Truck and RV, your favorite little RV specialist. Started by our mom and dad in 1976, we are proud to be a second generation family owned and operated business. My friends call me Luke, my sisters call me Charlie, and my 23 nieces and nephews call me Lukey Poo, but you can call me anytime at 440 Ohio RVs. A member of our growing team would be happy to help you. Please check out our website at truckandrv.com to view all of our inventory. There's a direct link to this particular RV in the video description below. If you follow that link, it will take you to our website where you can see pricing and information on this unit. Once this unit is sold, that link will be removed. We are a full service dealer offering a warranty as well as financing packages. If you have any questions, please give us a call at 440-OHIO-RVs. Again, that's 440-OHIO-RVS. For sale today, we have a 2004 Pleasure Way Lexor RD with 72,656 miles. Alrighty, folks, here we are inside of this 2004 Pleasure Way Lexor RD. Here at Coon Truck and RV, we are proud to be a second generation family owned and operated business. All these RVs go through the same inspection process before they hit the web. We're going to go through a full demo with you at the time of sale. Answer any questions you may have. You can stay with us here in small town Sherwood, Ohio at Crystal Fountain Park. It's going to give you a good opportunity to stay with us here before you head off for parts unknown. Give everything a good shakedown. Ask us any questions before you hit the road. Got a mixture of hard surface and carpet flooring in this one. Got about 72 and a half inches of headroom here in the main part of the coach. Fantastic fan here in the center. Runs on the coach battery system. It's going to act like an attic fan at night if you open up the window. It's going to bring the cool outside air in. Also going to be your exhaust fan for your bathroom in here or your kitchen. This track is for the shower curtain. We'll check that out here a little closer. This is for the shower drain. There's a pan that drops down here and sits in the floor. Gonna create a shower area here in the center of the coach. Entryway, got a railing to help you get up and in. Fire extinguisher, a little bit of a stairwell here. You can cut a board or something there to cover that up. If you don't wanna have pets or something fall down in there. Uh, switch for the porch light and one of the lights as you come up and in this window opens but does not have a screen got a curtain for privacy there's a snap curtain that i'll show you when we do the outside tour goes around the front got some railing spots up here for your sunscreen your sunglasses things like that you want to grab as you head out the door on your next adventure levels test here do not consider these gospel water pump on off this will pump the water out of the onboard fresh water tank Generator, we have 2800 Onan, fresh service, fresh oil change by our certified Onan technicians. That runs on the fuel tank. We'll stop running around a quarter tank so you cannot strand yourself. 65 hours on that. Water heater ignite, that ignites itself, runs on propane gas. Noxious gas detector here. This is a slide out here that you can use this cover to fill in that, make a counter extension. We have a two burner propane cooktop and a sink here. I'll show you some pictures of that here when I do the bed. A little easier than trying to juggle that around with the camera. Got a screen window here with a blind in the kitchen some backsplash area here help keep things clean put your paper towels there a little spice rack overhead storage I flip around now we have a nice big mirror on the exterior of the bathroom door wardrobe here you can hang your things table leg we have a circular table there and another rectangular table here behind the driver's seat have a drawer here with our manuals. Microwave, this will run on the shore power plug-in or the generator only. Got some storage above that. Moving now into the bathroom area. Mirrored medicine cabinet, storage railing. AC power by the sink. Be a good spot to plug in your hair dryer, curling iron, things like that. So easy to access the stool here. This pan is gonna come out here and make up your shower. Access below the sink. A couple drawers here. Storage inside of our medicine cabinet. And the railing there is where the uh, shower curtain will go, help contain the water. You can unsnap these little slide outs here and these slide outs kind of create a room. I'm gonna drop some pictures and I'll show you what this stuff looks like made up. Moving back over to the kitchen now, we have a three-way Dometic fridge freezer. Freezer up top, three-way meaning it runs on AC power, so the shore power plug-in or the generator. DC power meaning the coach battery system or propane gas. We have instructions in the bottom of the box. You need to set this one on what power you'd like. AC power here on the front of the kitchen. Gives you a good spot to plug in your coffee pot or your air fryer. Storage beneath the sink, it's our propane furnace. That's controlled via the thermostat right up here on the wall. Nice kitchen storage or storage in general, always very precious and at a very high value in a camper van. 
So more storage back there. You can tuck different goodies, some electrical connections. Got a couple nice size drawers here on this little dinette. Gives you a good spot to tuck your things while you're back here in the rear part of the coach. This is a spot where a coffee pot would have been. Crank for your TV antenna. You do not want to drive around with that up. Air conditioner here in the back. Runs on the shore power plug-in or the generator. You're going to control it with those knobs right on the front of the unit. Screen window on this side. Also on this side. Blinds throughout. These are the only two windows that open in the rear. Electrical panels down here. It's got our AC breakers. Everything that's running on our shore power plug-in or our generator and breakers for our DC system that's running on the coach battery. Noxious gas detector. Gonna run the power sofa up and down right here using these. I'm gonna drop some pictures now so you can see what this looks like made up and get some measurements. The jackknife sofa in the upright position measures approximately 20 and a half inches north, south, or front to back in the RV and 72 and a half inches east, west from wall to wall. The big bed measures approximately 54 inches north, south, and 72 and a half inches east, west from wall to wall. Why couldn't the skeleton cross the road? He didn't have the guts. Cup holders here. You've got that space here. You can tuck things, plug them into this outlet here for your laptop or charge your phones. A couple little marks here on this upholstery. TV here you can swivel out to face the front, so you can watch that with the front seat swiveled, primarily the passenger seat. Got DC power back here, a little AC, or excuse me, a USB charging station. Got some speakers back here with an amp, DVD player here for the TV. Got a remotes. A little bit of discoloration here on the floor. Looks almost like shadows. Just a little bit of yellowing from the sun. Up top here in the front, got some storage overhead. Nice little spot here by the microwave in the front as well. Nice camper van here from Pleasure Way. I'm gonna call this one between a seven and a half and an eight, so seven and three quarters here. As far as the cosmetics go and everything, it's gone through our full inspection process. We're gonna go through that full demo with you at the time of sale, answer any questions you may have. Stay with us at Crystal Fountain Park. Make sure you're fully comfortable before you hit the road. Check this out at truckandrv.com. Coon Truck and RV, the best little RV dealer around since 1976 and home of the RV Brothers. Up here in the cabin area, we have power windows, locks, mirrors, tilt crews, and CD. Nice clean upholstery, floor mats, carpet up front. Not seeing any signs of smoking in the form of burns, stains, tears, no funny smells. Got some spots here to charge your devices. So while it's tough to say for certain, I'm gonna call this one a non-smoker. Alrighty folks, we're gonna go around the outside of this 2004 Pleasure Way Lexor RD. This camper van measures 20 feet bumper to bumper with an 11 foot manual awning. We have single rear wheels and the tires have 3322 date codes. This camper van is built on a Chevy Express 3500 chassis with a six liter V8 engine with 72,656 miles. Nice looking exterior. Couple small necks here and there. Pretty good looking overall though, for the year. Porch light, back of the refrigerator. It's easy to get up and into this camper van here. Got a railing to help you get up and in. You can run the awning legs to these clevises. I prefer to run them directly to the ground and use some tent stakes to hold those down. Coach battery, furnace exhaust, two AC plug-ins, so you can plug things in here beneath the awning. Engine exhaust and our generator exhaust. Coming around to the back, tow package. This is great for a bike rack. Tow something along with you for your adventure. Propane tank is mounted to the unit, so you have to drive this somewhere to have that filled. The gauge here will tell you how much is in it. Turn it on and off here, just like a grill tank. We have some storage space here in the back below the sofa bed. Got some different curtains and things here. This one with the snaps will snap around the front of the RV to block off the windshield, passenger and driver windows while you're parked. Coach battery disconnect here. Turn that key and if you can pull it out, it means it's disconnected. We have our awning crank and center rafter here. 30 amp shore power cord. Air conditioner up top. That coach battery disconnect 
We'll disconnect the coach battery system to prevent parasitic draw. We'll also disconnect the charging systems, which are the shore power plug-in, the generator, or the alternator while you drive. City water in, so you're gonna connect the garden hose here. You're gonna get the pressure from that hose. So it's gonna go automatically to your sink, shower, toilet. Cable TV, if you're staying somewhere that has that. Sewer hose storage. This is where you're gonna connect to your 30 amp shore power cord. You're gonna get one of those with the RV. Full size spare here. Back of our water heater. A Little bit of checking here. If you look closely at the striping on this one, on the driver's side a little more than the passenger. A little bit of a scrape here on this compartment door in here as well. Nice looking shine overall though. Still very good looking camper van. Molded fiberglass topper. So you can see little marks and things. Nothing that affects the fun or usability of this RV, however. Down here we have our sewer drain. Black is gonna be our toilet. Gray is our sink and shower. You do a black first and then the gray. These little things here hold the doors open so you can get the stuff. Got a storage compartment down here. There's a extra coax there for you. You're saying someone that has a TV hook. Outside shower is nice for kids, pets, going to the beach, wash things off outside of the camper van, keep the mess outside of the van. You're gonna fill the fuel tank there. It's gonna run the engine and the generator. Generator will stop running around a quarter tank so you cannot strand yourself. Fresh water tank fill. This is gonna travel wherever the RV goes. These are the little snaps I mentioned where that cover will go all the way around the front. Quality that you know and love here from Pleasure Way in a not so common floor plan with this Lexor RD. Check this out at truckandrv.com. Coon Truck and RV, the best little RV dealer around since 1976 and home of the RV Brothers.